What happens? There are three main parts of the poem. Do you know what they are about? The first one is done for you. Lines What is happening? 1 to 7 The scorpion comes into the home to escape the rain and stings the poet's mother. 8 to 33 These lines basically deal with the people, the neighbours who came to help. How they searched for the scorpion but could not find it. Their reaction that is clicking their tongues, swearing like, May he sit still, may your suffering be burnt away, may the sum of evil against the sum of good diminish your pain, may the poison purify your desire and spirit of ambition. 34-48 to 48. These lines deal only with the family members, mother twisting and groaning in pain, father trying out all different methods of treatment like curse and blessing, powder, mixture, herb and hybrid, setting fire to the bitten toe and the hybrid, setting fire to the bitten toe and the child helplessly watching the flames engulfing the mother's toe and the holy man performing the rites to tame the poison. 2. Complete the following tables. A. Background setting of the poem. Type. Evidence. Quote lines from the poem. Rural, urban type. 1. To crawl beneath the sack of rice. The peasants came like swarms of flies. 3. With candles and lanterns and shadows on the mud-baked walls. 4. They sat around mother on the floor. B. Scorpion. Many images of the scorpion contrast in the opening lines of the poem. Find examples of each and add them to the columns below. Timid. Dangerous. 1. Hides beneath a sack of rice. 1. Diabolic. Parts with the poison. 2. Risking the rain, the scorpion comes back. 2. As the scorpion moved, the poison in mother's blood moved. C. Imagery. Look at the description of the village peasants. What does the imagery suggest about them? The images. What images suggest? They came like swarms of flies. Many people came learning about the sting. They came to show support, offer prayers and help in the only way they could. They buzzed the name of God. The chanting of God's name was spoken by so many people that it sounded incomprehensible. It is also compared to the sound one hears when insects are buzzing as they all talk at the same time. They threw giant scorpion shadows on the mud-baked walls. This line shows the extent to which the scorpion had intruded upon the lives of the people. The image of the scorpion is what the people see around them. They clicked their tongues. They wanted to sympathize with the family. They wanted to listen to the movement of the scorpion venom in mother's blood. 3. Choose the correct alternative. 1. The child is afraid but admires dash. A. The initiative of the peasants. B. His father trying everywhere to cure. C. The bravery of his mother. The child is afraid but admires the bravery of his mother. 2. His father and the villagers panic and hastily suggest dash. A. To take her to the hospital. B. Ayurvedic treatment. C. Religious remedies to help. His father and the villagers panic and hastily suggest religious remedies to help. 3. The poet seems to see the villagers as impractical and almost irritating which suggests dash. A. The poet is critical of caste. B. The poet is critical of religion. C. The poet is critical of tradition. The poet seems to see the villagers as impractical and almost irritating which suggests the poet is critical of religion. 4. This is a dash poem as it tells a story. A. Reflective B. Imaginative C. Narrative This is a narrative poem as it tells a story. 5. Using the first person gives the feeling that it is told from dash. A. Personal experience B. Public experience C. Private experience 
using the first person gives the feeling that it is told from personal experience. 6. The scorpion picked on me and spared my children depicts dash A. Mother's bravery B. Mother's endurance C. Selfless and unconditional love of mother The scorpion picked on me and spared my children depicts selfless and unconditional love of mother. 7. The poem does not have a rhyme scheme, which means the poem is a perfect example of a dash. A. Ballad B. Sonnet C. Three verse Which means the poem is a perfect example of free verse. 8. The poem is titled Night of the Scorpion for the major part of the poem dash. A. The mother remains triumphant at the end. B. The scorpion is the victor. C. The father succeeds in curing the mother. For the major part of the poem, the scorpion is the victor. 9. The peasants chant the name of God to dash. A. Nullify the singing experience. B. Praise God. C. Appease God. The peasants chant the name of God to nullify the singing experience. 10. The click of tongues reflects their dash to the predicament. A. Individual response. B. Collective response. C. Group response. The click of tongues reflects their collective response to the predicament. 4. From the poem, provide evidence for the following. Stages. Evidence. Lines from the poem. A. The attempts by the peasants to help alleviate the mother's pain. A. May your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth, they said. B. May the sum of all evil balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good become diminished by your pain. B. The action of these same peasants to kill the scorpion. A. With candles and lanterns, they searched for him. B. He was not found. C. The reaction of the rational father. May father, skeptic, rationalist, trying every curse and blessing, powder, mixture, herb and hybrid. D. The various superstitions versus the scientific. A. I watch the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation. After 20 hours, it lost its sting. E. Evil versus good. A. The peasants bust the name of God hundred times to paralyze the evil one. B. May the sum of all evil, balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good, become diminished by your pain. Five. Read the poem and complete the table showing the qualities of the father and mother, giving sufficient evidences from the poem. Qualities. Father, Mother 1. The father was skeptic and rational. Mother was strong and had selfless and unconditional love for her children. 6a. Match the figures of speech with the correct definition. Poetic devices Figure Definition 1. Metaphor A. The use of the same sound at the beginning of words. 2. Alliteration B. An implied comparison 3. Onomatopoeia C. A comparison between two different things, especially a phrase containing the words like or as. 4. Simile D. A word which resembles the sound it represents. Answer 1. Metaphor an implied comparison. 2. Alliteration. The use of the same sound at the beginning of words. 3. Onomatopoeia. A word which resembles the sound it represents. 4. Simile. A comparison between two different things, especially a phrase containing the words like or as. B. Find examples from the poem that contain 